Pisces, my amazing, awesome, beautiful Pisces. I love you all. Don't mind the Roomba going around, vacuuming up the floor here. Guys, I've been channeling your energy all morning in the workout videos. Check them out. That'll be for you guys as well. Boom, this popped in my head immediately and there's just like fire and anger, but like rage, yes, but like this, this, this wah type of energy going with y'all. You're so powerful, so strong, okay? Gang stalking, gang stalking, gang stalking. Since high school, this has been happening to us, you, Pisces. A past lover whom is a psycho covert narcissist is watching us, you. He, she doesn't know you, we know this, but they have gotten their family, friends, your, our ex-family and friends to watch us, you, Pisces, as well. They're all flying monkeys, okay? Pisces, don't be scared, all right? Don't you dare be scared, okay? They can't do a damn thing to you at all. You keep shining bright, girl. That's what I'm getting, girl. Guys, everyone watching, keep shining bright. Please know, I don't, I don't get these messages to scare you. I'm not trying to get, uh, what's it called when you, like, bad news is, is, you know, they don't give good news. I love giving good news. I've been a good news, happy-go-lucky, bodybuilder, fitness motivator guy my entire life. I was not aware of these human beings they are real. I always thought it was in a movie or TV show or, no, this isn't real people. These are real people. And you already know this, Pisces. You guys have confirmed it across the board. Uh, as always, please like, share, and subscribe, and always comment. I love your comments, y'all. I love sharing. We got to let these people know. We know. God loves everybody. They have their own guides and angels as well. Remember that. I know it's weird, right? I know it's weird, but e even I had narcissistic traits back in the day. Nothing like these folks, and that's not a competition. I'm not judging one or the other here, but yeah, right? We all have them, but these folks have a plan and agenda. I've said it every time, okay? Every time, every time. So again, don't be scared, all right? Knowledge is power, hands down. And you didn't know, okay? And I know when you hear this sometimes, uh, it's funny, my nephew just popped up on my phone there. That's another one. These abilities of ours runs in my family. But he was in the military. It's funny that he pops up. Anyone else talk shit on him, I'll, you know, he's my family. But I love him. I love him. I love him. Um, that's for somebody watching. Again, family members. Remember, they got family members watching you as well. And that's unfortunate. It, think of how good they are at manipulating, at looking like a shining star. And, and yes, they have this job that looks great, this, this life that looks great, a house that looks great. Underneath, man, they're like, <laughs> right? They're not even Thanos. Thanos was out there saying, I'm going to do this. They're, they're hiding everything, like looking brilliant, right? But they're not. They're corrupt and gross and, 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 and decay on the inside. Right? How can you live life like that? That's what I want to know. Let me know, Pisces. Let me know in the comments. How does a person live life like that? The constant fear, the constant betrayal. Not only, but they feel everyone betrayed them, but they're the one doing it to everybody. Um, fear, manipulation, the constant planning. Oh my God, I would get exhausted. Ex I get exhausted just by doing this every day. How the f do they live their life like that? I'm an actor, y'all. I say it every time. And yeah, I was trained in drama to do certain films like CSI and, and, and uh, uh, Law and Order because I was a New York actor, still am. But I always thought like, oh, this is the, in the movies. No, they get this from real life. They write this from a real story that inspires them. They have to do the research on it. Like this is real shit, man. It's cray cray, y'all, cray cray. And um, I always said throughout all my acting career and everything, I was like, man, if my life was actually like this TV show and things, that'd be so exhausting. I mean, it'd be cool to be Magnum PI and running through things. I just want to be in Hawaii. I don't have to solve anything, but that's what we're doing here. We are the CSI psychic mediums and the psychic uh, uh, detectives here, y'all. You and me. You and me. Let me know in the comments, everybody. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. This is a good reading. I've been pumped up for this all day. You have no idea. I've been, I've been hearing you, Pisces. I've been hearing you. This popped in my head as well, y'all. I think Britney Spears is going to die. She's already or hospitalized. Um, I get a lot of channeling with Britney Spears. She's psychic. 
she doesn't know that all of us exactly are around speaking to her and it can make you go a little uh and i'll be i'll be honest with you yeah and they're not bad energies but when you don't know thyself when you don't understand what's happening you try to fight it right you try to you try to you have to be in flow again know thyself the, the Roomba's hitting the camera stand here um there's a channeling with the Roomba as well. That's for somebody. Let me know, y'all. Thank you, thank you. Haiti. Did we say Haiti? What did we say earlier? I should have wrote, wrote it down. Something about Haitian. Hades, like, like Greek? No. It'll come back around, y'all. It'll come back around. This is why you'll see me write it down a lot of times. Um, I guess maybe if I slow down, we could really get it going there for y'all. But with that said, guys, let's jump in here. Let's go to uh, some of the cards. We're going to start with my own cards, fake-ass card deck, <laughs> which is a real card deck. You all know why. I don't have to explain the... Uh, someone made a comment of it. And I was like, mm, what a good name. What a good name. That's what I mean being in flow, right? Like when you're in flow, when you know yourself, no one can bother you, man. There is no weapon on this planet that can be formed against you. True story. Because, the, you know... It's a difference between knowing when to stand up and stand up for yourself when you have to kind of like light it up, but then also knowing you ain't got nothing on me, right? I ain't bothered, I ain't scared. And that, that, about 100% of the time is what really upsets people. I guess I'm giving you all some tactics. And again, please know, I had no idea about this in my own life till up to five years ago. True story, y'all, true story. Something at work for you all. There's, there's a person at work who pretends to be nice. I'm sure they're okay, they're friendly, but they purposely don't teach you certain things because they want to keep, that's covert narcissist as well right there. And I hate to keep saying it, but remember when I say this too, these people are kind of psychopathic and so insecure that they're not going to teach you um, fully how to use, how to use something or do something because they want to look like the star. They want to uh, secure their own job. And they're supposed to teach the other people how to do this, and they're not. Say something to the manager or the, or the boss that this person isn't teaching you fully how to use whatever this is or whatever it is that you're doing, that they are purposely keeping information from you to, to hold on to their position so that you have to keep coming to them. And it's the same thing you keep asking about, right? Like what I'm seeing is because like this happened to me at a job when I ran a bar and, and the dude like wouldn't teach us how to, how to properly use these wine kegs, right? So I got in there one day and just configured it all out and he got really like mad about it. No, not mad, but he was just like, oh, okay. and, and I think that's what you're going to do. You're going to really figure out your method to whatever, maybe you're in sales or it's an office job is what I'm saying. And they're, and they're purposely, whoever this is supposed to teach you, this mid-level manager is really keeping the info from you. Let me know in the comments, y'all. Let me know in the comments. I want to shuffle this. Nope, I'm not going to shuffle this one more time. I've already shuffled it a few times. So right off the bat, we have Virgo, okay? We have Virgo. So is this person a Virgo? Is the past person a Virgo? Virgo is on the board right now, okay? Um, we also need to get grounded. It's an earth energy. You know what I'm saying with this Virgo. Let me know in the comments there, Pis Pisces. And of course, Superman. Okay? Hope. Hope. Don't ever lose hope. Don't ever beat yourself up. I've just done that for the past day or so, and that's really uh, against my nature. But uh, I also purge some things, but no, you don't do that. Don't ignore it. Meditate, stay calm, and know there's always hope. Not only hope. But you have galactic beings all around you, angels, archangels, Pleiadians, all here to help you. Just ask. Ask. Someone sees the sparkles around you, don't you? Let me know in the comments, guys. I would love that. Like you see the, out of the corner of your eyes, some of you are seeing the sparkles, right? Like I see them in front of me. I see them all over. They're so amazing. Those are your, we're guides for you. Not just ancestors and loved ones. Um, thank you. In this bloodline, yes. But also, you have lived multiple lives, all happening right now. 
as uh, what we would say like Native American, even though I prefer Aboriginal, um, a galactic being, um, a cowboy, a Roman guard, uh, some a slave, a gladiator, you know what I'm saying? You lived all these different lives in, um, so these are like spiritual 10, 10 on the clock timelines as well, here to help you also. Just have to ask y'all, just have to ask. Uh-oh. Good thing though, good thing, check it out. Here's Johnny. Now I know that can be scary, right? We have the man symbol right here. Someone's a swinger. Okay, someone's Jack Nicholson swinger with all the ladies. <laughs> That's not the first initial. Let me know about that, y'all, in the comments. Either it's you or the or the other person I'm reading here. The here Johnny part is scary in, in the movie The Shining. That was a spiritual awakening. He's a psychic medium. Remember, the kid, we said it before, we've talked about it before, has the shine, right? And the, now they made that movie a few years ago. Um, oh my goodness, Dr. Sleep. Yeah, with Ian McGregor. Amazing, amazing. Also, if y'all haven't watched A Gentleman in Moscow with Ian McGregor and, I um, hope I'm saying that right, and Mary Elizabeth Winstead, check it out. It's such a great story. It's so good. That's all I'll say with it right there. But you are a psychic medium, okay? You are a psychic channel. You know it too. You know it. Let me know in the comments, y'all. Sorry, my eyes got darted. I had a thing pop up. That's a sign right there. That's a double sign for you. I would love to hear more about your, what we call paranormal experiences. One of my favorite things is I love watching these celebrity ghost stories because uh, they're psychic, they're channelers. And the things that happen, it can get crazy, but I personally love when, when stuff happens, like in the physical here, like this lamp moves or they turn the lamps on and off and stuff. I'm like, yeah, Patrick Swayze style, y'all. Nobody puts baby in the corner. You know it, Pisces, you know it. Um, with the man symbol too, someone's having an uh, erectile dysfunction or, or it, it's not as hard. Don't be scared, Don't be, it, you're, you're good. Guys, we have a lot of things going on. It could be stress, it could be, um, not blood type, but blood pressure, things like that. You might want to get it checked out. There's a pill for it. I'm not pushing people to take the pills, but know your guides will help you too with that as well. Yeah, you'll feel like a cold, uh, like a blowing sensation, but like a vortex sensation, especially in that sacra, uh, sacral area, which is a type of Reiki, okay? And that's all we have there. I love it. You guys keep getting the same ones, and I've shuffled these quite a few times here. Not really the same ones, but I think it's a message that really needs to, needs to be heard. Ah, they call me Mr. Tibbs. Heart. Follow your passion, follow your heart. But what I'm really getting here with they call me Mr. Tibbs is these past people. They hate that you have boundaries now. And what I'm seeing, this is more in a race. Someone, uh, and not a race, like running a race, but but like back in the, in the 60s, the race riots and how, you know, the not apartheid, but that is that, but how segregated and ugh, 13, 13 on the clock. Can you believe that happened in our lifetime, in our lifespan? That sounds like medieval times to me. But you have these boundaries that you put up and you know it now, you're strong. You strong, girl, guy, ugh. And, um, and you let them know, you let them know. It's funny, I'm getting a person too that thinks they have boundaries, but they don't. They're just trying to manipulate either you um, by saying like their name, like mm -mm, my name is this now. I don't go by whatever. Like uh, I have the word Christy, but now they want to be called Christine. They only do that to you, by the way. They don't do it to anyone else. It's like they, they want to get back at you of, about, for something, but you didn't do anything. This person, I believe, and if it was either a man or a woman, was a, I'm hearing prostitute on some kind of boat, but they would say they were boat trips. You might have been in Washington, D.C. doing it. Let me know in the comments, y'all. Let me know in the comments. Let's put these to the side for a moment. Yeah, we're going to the sex fortune cards, y'all. Now, some of these I'm going to have to cover up um, the picture because, you know, I was going to say Facebook. I guess Facebook will let me know. But um, uh, YouTube and TikTok have let me know. To, hey, you can't really show a lot of those. And if you're watching on TikTok, check out the full video on YouTube, y'all. Yeah, because I don't think the whole video goes. Roomba, Roomba saying hi. Let's go, I'm gonna shuffle this up one more time. And 
And it's going to be with love life. Not only love life, but a little bedroom sexy life, y'all. Someone new is coming in, y'all. Someone new or you're with someone new. It's not this past person because we are, we are, we're not beating that horse, but a lot of people got to know. You got to know. It's a sickness to these folks. It's like they never stop. They also moved next to you, right? Or, or again, we've said it where they kind of show up at places. Keep your stuff private, y'all. Keep your stuff private. Or not only make mental notes, use this evidence. You might need that. I'm just saying that right now. All right, let's pull this first one here, y'all. Woo, the five of flesh swords. Five is change. I'm getting more past energy here. Uh, someone's Asian watching. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. I would love to see. Love to know. Love to hear from you. Who doesn't love Asians? Come on, stop it. Come on. We're focusing here. Um, I'm going to have to try to cover this. And I'll show you guys here. Boom. All right. What I love here with this, they're both looking at each other. So you're on the same eye line. You're on the same level. You like it from behind, don't you? You. Silliness, you. And the cement wall, the foundations are being built with this relationship. And they're going to be really great. They've already been built. Um, there isn't a house yet. Someone feels a little blocked in uh, because these are, um, what are these called? Cement, cement brick walls. So they're very strong. But again, I'm getting more foundation, more foundation. For the one feeling a bit fear like blocked in, you're, you're free to do what you want. I'm sorry, I'm feeling something... I'm like, we like to poke at my ears and pull things out. That's for somebody as well, by spirit guides. Um, someone's a redhead also. It might be a male. All right, all right, all right. Like them redheads. The sky's a bit cloudy. So the, I think it's new. I think it was... It just wasn't clear of what was happening yet. Okay, whether a relationship was still new. I think you guys were afraid to talk about what it is. I don't know why you were afraid to talk about the relationship or, or have the talk. Someone watching, they immediately just were like, we're in a relationship and put it on their uh, the Roomba, that's a sign, and just put it on their social media. And you just kind of went, oh, okay. No, no, no. No, no, no. They, that, they, you didn't give consent for that. Remember that. They're free to do what they want, but you're now associated with that, okay? So you do you, but I'm just letting you know. Consent works both ways, ladies and men. I know everyone preaches that men have to ask for consent. So do women, right? Both parties should ask, have to ask for consent. In court of law, you know what I'm saying. Hopefully that's not for somebody right there. Uh, that I'm hoping no one goes to court, but we're saying it for a reason. Remember, it's like a like teleprompter that keeps going here. Woo! I love it. So we have a five here. Now we're at the four of sex wands. Good stuff. Good stuff. Again, I'm going to have to cover this a little bit here. I might have to do two fingers. You get, you, get the, uh, you get the idea here, right? She's on top of them. Again, looking at each other. Might be a new couple too. Because we have a mixed couple here. And then we have the same race couple here. Um, which I love that we're open. We're open to everything. Heck yeah. I always say I love uh, I love 31 flavors, but I like all the flavors. I like mixing all the ice creams together in one one thing. I like making my own ice cream. What? What's this analogy have to do with it, Pat? Maybe naked ice cream. Okay. <laughs> so very phallic. We have, we have a, a tower in the background. Something did happen tower-wise. Nothing crazy. But also we have a very uh, uh, phallic tower here. Right, very strong, very masculine. It could be women and, and men as well. Men, men, women, women. But ooh, you guys are on it. Very rough, very, not rough in a bad way, like fun, aggressive rough. Like, ooh, it's surprising too. They kind of take you from behind like before. Look how the skies, let me show you this again. Clear up, not just cleared up, but boom, sunshine, brightness. You got past that cloudiness is what I'm seeing as well, right? Um, something cleared the air, but also built really confidence and shining bright, the two of you together, shine so bright. You shine bright on your own too, Pisces, but together you guys really illuminate. And it's hot to watch. It's really, it's really amazing. The gate is open on the castle. 
you're free to come and go. It's like you're open. You're open. You're not guarded. You know, castles usually are built to as a fortress. This one is very open, very open. Trojan horse, like a condom or like the actual, like Trojan Wars. This is not for everybody, but be wary of gifts like that. They might try to Trojan horse you. That's for somebody. Let me know in the comments. I think that's very specific for someone. But for others, I'm getting really great vibes here. Really great vibes. A lot of solar plex, a lot of sun, a lot of shining star bright energy here. And again, I have to cover it here. The missionary, okay? Now, this isn't the lover's card in this deck, but I, I always see that it's like the two of cups, uh, but equivalent to the lovers, because you're a missionary. Oh, boring, I know, but really, is it? Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. Look in each other's eyes, like staying with one another. Uh, two of cups, love, love right here. But missionary is also, this is where you're leading to. It's this, and not... Not that you're not safe now, but it, but you, it's, it's your, it's that not even comfort zone. It's this, you're in the nook, you know, you're in the nook and cuddling. And this is, this is happy. This is two of cups, family life together as one missionary, right? Maybe together you are also on a mission to spread love, to spread love. 21, 21 on the clock. Let me know y'all. Let me know. That's beautiful. Really, really great. Y'all. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So again, I'm thinking that th this new energy coming in, you had to, I hate saying you had to go through that stuff in the past because you didn't do anything wrong, but you wouldn't have known what you know now, right? And that's a weird way to have to learn it, but you're better for it. You're smarter, you're stronger, you're sexier, you know it. We're going to do a couple of these, um, the Manara, I'm saying that wrong, erotic tarot. <laughs> Again, I'll have to cover up some of these pictures in here. But I just want to get a little deeper with this uh, with the sex life. Why not, right? Why not? You, you kinky thing, you. And for, for any Aussies watching, hey, I love it. I love that we're, we're global here, y'all. I love sharing with y'all. Uh, I'll be heading to Australia soon, New Zealand as well. And also my, uh, my Germans. Are Germans watching? That's great. And uh, I was going to say UK, but I heard Germans. Uh, all my English folks watching, thank you, thank you, thank you, and everyone watching, I really appreciate it, y'all. Always please like, share, subscribe, and we'll pull this card. Let's see what we got here. So the six, but the emperor card. Wow. I'm getting very sword in the stone vibes here but but lady of the lake confident sexy there's yellow around the card here so confidence i can show you guys this one look at all that confidence there and an emperor energy yes but i'm getting a lot of healing and nurturing energy here um something with water we were just talking about australia right and new zealand i guess the uh england as well it's an island and there's cliffs here. There's a knight as well. So there you go with England. And it's like the, I'm getting that maybe the masculine energy or the male, uh, it could be the female as well, is in more of a knight energy, but it's like they're ready to serve. Ooh, I'm getting some kinky vibes there. Serve in a fun way. It's about the beach too. Some sex on the beach there, y'all. And a beautiful vacation. Who's going on vacation? Let me know. Let me know. Ooh. So we have the moon. Secrets. Right? And more confidence. Yeah, but the secrets are revealed. I'm getting to because you all trust one another. Some of you are going to be finding out the secrets of, of a current lover. You'll get through it. Some of it's going to be pretty bad and you're going to go on your way. But for majority of y'all, it's just something they weren't proud of. We all have that, right? And you're going to talk through it and you're going to get through it. A lot of you too, this has to go back to that past person. And I'm feeling it might be a Virgo. Uh, but that past person, 
who was keeping that covert narcissist we're talking about, that psycho, right? Again, since high school, y'all, um, who does want to come back around, but they can't, again, you know their shit. You know their, you call them on it too. That's your strength. That's your beauty. That's your sexiness. I'm getting a foxtail here too, uh, like fox in a hen house uh, style, but also a uh, fox is very spiritual. You figure your way out of this stuff because you know people's secrets. Also, your psychic medium channeling abilities, y'all. You're going to start hearing them audibly out here. And you're going to be like, whoa, it's fun. Trust me, it's fun. Meditate on it. We'll pull one more, one more. <laughs> Strength. I'm getting the number 11 here. I'm reading Roman numerals. But uh, again, I'm going to have to cover this and show you. Um, so she's hugging a very phallic symbol. It's a penis right but that's the strength ladies the men you work together as one and whatever these secrets are you get through it together okay you get through it together not only that but you're make it become stronger for it you've already had the strength there you become so much stronger and it, i'm getting ladies you just love you hug the penis um Someone does like a little hand job time on there. Good for you. I'm getting so many sexual things for y'all, but I'm trying not to be too graphic with the sex. Now, someone's like, I want to know. And what I'm getting to with, with this phallic symbol with the ladies, it's a, it's the combination. Taming the beast as well. Thank you. Uh, some of you will be taming the men, and I mean like psh, taming the guys. I'm getting to, uh, I'm getting like a knight again, or like um, Game of Thrones style. The man will want to bend the knee. Not that they should. I think the two of you will be bending knees together in a good way, in a sexy love way. Maybe you're doing a little role play there, huh? Domina, my domina. Well, I'll bend both knees for you. And elbows, maybe my eyelashes. What? Stop it, Pisces. I'm gonna leave it right there, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Till next time.